What's up guys, it's been a minute since my last video. Today we're gonna to be installing these recessed lights sent to us by Zago. Um, not gonna bore you too much with the details of these. There'll be a link in the description box below, but real quick, these are very similar to some of the other videos I shot on my channel recently. They're smart LED lights so you can control them with your phone. You can dim them, change the colors, and all sorts of good stuff like that. So today, we're down in Kayla's dungeon. We're gonna be swapping out some of these recessed light fixtures down here and putting these to the test, so. Have you ever done anything like this before? Yeah. All right, perfect. So you can see just how easy this is. This is Kayla's first time tackling a job like this. Should take a couple minutes per fixture. Let's get started, put these things to the test. All right, so in this box, obviously you get your standard directions. These are mainly for connecting them to the app later on. And four fixtures. And for these guys right here, this is basically a harness that screws up into the socket and the light fixture. And the other end of this plugs into the back of the fixture here. So, swing up here. So basically all we gotta do for these is take out the bulb. You don't even need to shut the power off for this. It's just like changing a light bulb, pretty easy stuff. This thing on here is called the trim ring. You gotta take that off. There's two springs in here. What you do is just lift them up, slide them to the side, and they pop right off. Trim ring comes out. You're gonna take one of these harnesses, screw it up into the socket. Can you see here? From underneath. And screw up into the socket like that. Got the harness portion here now. And really all you gotta do now is just plug that guy into the back of the light, like I said earlier, and it's got these spring clips on the sides. Okay, you squeeze these guys, and up here in the light, I don't know how well you can see that, there is, uh, well, here's one of the clips. There's a clip here, and there's a clip on the other side, and these springs basically just go inside that clip, and that's what holds the light up. So you'll, you'll see it a little bit more closely. You'll see it a little bit more in detail in a second how this goes up there. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this first one in. And as you can see, it powers up right away because again, we can shut the electric off, which is fine. Slip these into those clips. And all it's a matter of doing is just popping it up into the ceiling, so. All right, so there's two of those bad boys installed. Kaylee, you ready to do the next one? Yeah. All right, go for it. First thing you can do, take the bulb out. Here, give me. Alright, you gotta take that trim ring down. There's two springs up in there. Alright, there's one right there, yep. Pull up and pull to the middle. Should come right out. Yep, there's one. Be careful with the next one because that ring is gonna want to come off. So just hold on to the spring when you're yep, nice. Yeah, you're like a natural. Alright, first thing, take this harness. You can screw that up there. Hold on one second. See, there's a socket for the bulb up there. You're gonna screw that guy in. All right, take the light. Jeez, I don't even need to tell you what to do. And there's our light. Yep, take those clips, spring clips, and attach them to those metal tabs that are up in the can. Good, awesome. Yeah, so what, under a minute, right? Yeah. What do you think, you think you could do one more? Yeah. All right, come on, let's get over here. Grab that end of the ladder. Yeah, thank you. Now let's see if you could beat the time it took you to do the last one. Uh, gotta, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm the assistant, but I'm holding the camera, so I can't help you. All right, so we're doing these in obviously a drop ceiling here in the basement, but it really doesn't matter where these light fixtures might be installed. They can be in a drywall ceiling, um, ceiling could be like a barn board, something like that. 
really doesn't matter. Um, it's the same install technique. So those spring clips allow you to adjust the distance that the fixture sits away from the can. So if that can, let's say, is buried up behind the drywall, you can still install these because it gives you a little bit of play during the install process. There you go. I think you did beat your, uh, your record from the last one. So, all right, there you have it. There's the lights installed. The light output, what do you say? It's a lot brighter than the old ones, right? Yeah, yeah real, uh, real nice bright fixtures. That's only half of it. Let's get the app installed on your phone and we'll see how these work. Okay. All right, so the app you're gonna be looking for is the Smart Life app. All right, so like I stated earlier, there is a manual that gives you all the directions on how to pair these with your home network. Obviously, there's the app that we're installing right now. I'm not gonna bore you to death here again. It gives you all the directions you need to get this installed properly. So we're gonna go through that process right now on our phone and we'll bring it back and show you what these lights look like. Yeah. You didn't even read it and you hit agree. I always read every line of those things just to be sure. All right, so we got to set up an account here. We'll do that off camera. All right, so we got the lights all flashing now. That means they're in pairing mode. There you go, it found them all. So you're gonna hit the plus sign and then basically pair them to your network, which Kayla is gonna do now. Wi-Fi credentials, your SSID and your Wi-Fi password. All right, so we did one, one of them solid now. Gotta do, do that three more times. Hit the plus sign for all of them, okay. Yeah, it only makes you put in your thing. Oh, okay, good, that's even easier. All right, how'd you make out? Are all showing up on the app? Yep. Awesome. So obviously the pairing procedure's done. They're not flashing anymore. Let's give these a try. So what do you do here? Click on the light. And you change the All right, so that's white mode, I guess, where you can change the color temperature. And now I think there's a color mode too, right? Yes. There you go, cool. And what do you have now? Like a color wheel? Yep. 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 Very cool. All right. So obviously that's one fixture. And you have four icons here on the screen because we have four lights installed. So you can independently control each light on the app. So you can make this one blue. You can make another one red, another one yellow. Basically do anything you want. You can make them all the same. I'm sure there's a feature on here to group them as well. So you can control them all as a group and not individually, which would be probably ideal in certain circumstances. But obviously you set it up any way you want. This is your area. But something cool, I think, right? You could read a book and turn all these little lights off at night. Just keep the one on over your bed. Yeah. Right? Something like that. So obviously... Uh, yeah, so these lights are flashed um, to the beat of music, obviously. We can't do it because of copyright violations on YouTube. They're not going to like that, but um, yeah, really cool feature with these. I think you could dim them too, right? Is there a dimming function? Mm -hmm. Yep, so we're dimming this one down right here right now. Got to bring it all the way down to zero. Yep, so that's pretty good. All right, so yeah, overall pretty successful install. Easy, right? How long did that take you to do? Uh, two seconds. Yeah, two seconds. I don't know if it was that quick, but. All right, guys, we'll check these out. Again, link will be in the description below. So that pretty much wraps this one up. Obviously, this is poor video editing. We have a mirror behind us. Slip around this way. There's a mirror right here. Oh, there's mirrors all over your room. What the heck is this? All right, so obviously Zago. Link will be in the description box below if you want to check these things out. So far, so good. Obviously, time will tell if they last. I don't really see anything from the get-go here that tells me they wouldn't. So, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, post them down below. Check out the rest of our channel. Be on the lookout for some of our future videos. We do have some ideas lined up. Just been really busy with things lately. Haven't had the chance to get in front of the camera and do these types of things anymore. But hopefully that will change soon. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.